No man, we don't we can't punish the police. Oh we should punish that the police. That is what they are trying to do. Listen, no, no. Police is not Babylon. Babylon is a live. Right. You understand me right. more? You get right. this in your head, you know. So yeah. when you take by a Jamaica city and you hear me burn Babylon, me have burn Babylon and I want you to help me burn Babylon. This leaf that have you have to be working. Granny used to tell me all the time, sparks and feet and preparation combined. The road been right here all this time, but you gotta look with more than your eyes. And the small axe Jesse Ryle representing for I Just Star Mindset. Rich forever. Like what? Anything. Come yeah, on, we don't break the law, man. We don't believe in breaking the law. We're a law abiding citizen. You understand? We do believe that criminal must live in fear of their life, not the law abiding citizen. I must say a Jones told me born and grow. Yeah. So, you understand? Hey, suppose me tell you this between me and, mm. uh, and your audience. Yeah. When yeah. I when I when I Gerard was teased in Bogle, in Central Mines, you know, the same day where I'm from Jones told me, you know, try to kill me, you know. You understand? And him even shoot all the police and them thing. There. And you know, what, so what, the what, other boy were trapped with him. A civilian. The other boy were trapped. Yes, man, right in front of the police station, a, cent, uh, a silo, a St. Elizabeth. I tell every boy name, the boy, you understand? And the boy try, the boy try to kill me, him shoot all the police before him dead. And so, what I tell you, say, policeman, um, who the boy shot in the name of named Paul Garcia. I mean, you save the policeman life, you know, and the policeman with him wicked self, you know, tell people, say, you know, so me no fire and no shot, you know. That's how he was telling people, you know. You understand? So he wants to portray himself as this tough guy and man shot him and him shot by the man. So when I was at Unsby, you know, him tell a detective carpal named Leary Barrett, you know, him did that he was shot and I know him returned fire and killed the boy. So one day he was working. Um at a hard, at when I had rest with him in a once a year and the man so break him so you know the detective have to handle the investigation. So the detective now so I was in the office and he came in and and he healed me up. So Leary asked him, say, wait, you know Porter? He said, Yeah man, me and him used to work, man. So I said, uh, I said, I mean I mean why I'm still here you know? I mean save him life, you know. And he said, Oh, he said, the boy was shot him. I said, if he never did right in our office, you know, I said, if he, Paul Garcia, you know, wasn't covered, you know, he wouldn't get any shot, you know, because when we got the information that the boy was on the bus coming up from Magati, from the MIU man, he, first thing he said that he was going to, for the vehicle to run down the man and lick him, the gunman. So I said to him, said, Virgin, you watch too much movie, you know. Which gunman are going to make police use vehicle for them down? Yeah, he that. He said, man, not gun, when a gunfight is gun, you understand? So he did not, he did not want to come out there, you know. And this is a man who get best shot in a film, but you know. So not because a man can shoot, mean to say him brave and anything. You know? So he did not come out there. So you have an acting car for him dead down there, and him, um, Courtney Wallace, them call him Rumbal. So Rumbal said that he did not have any gun. At the time, we didn't have, we did have any M16 at the police station. You know? We have a SMG. So I have a SMG and my gun. So I gave him the SMG. I said he didn't have any gun. He, you know, the acting corporal, Rumbal said that he's going to smoke a cigarette. I said, Virginia, be like we are going to a bar. He said, a gunman, we are going to deal with it. You understand? But this, the gunman now, he was involved in a uh, shootout around with bag and pan and, and some other police and them say police run left them vehicle and them free. I tell them say look here. I say me not me say the only fear when me have anything is fear of God. I say I one time you can't do. I say my mother had taught me from I was growing up. If you fear somebody, you already lose the war against that person. Anything where anybody can do, you can do it too. So that's the mindset that I had. So 
there's a special now him there in a special car called me in Glaston series. So he, he was the guy that was working as station guard. So he have the youth have on his uniform. So I said, boy, Cersei, me and I go out there. So both of us walk, you know, the station is on a hill. So both of us walk down the slope. To the right is a telephone boat. And when he come out there, first week he stopped with a cartoon. He's a man where he know, he's a man where been known. People love him, you know, especially, you know. People love him. The Red Sea police, they never like him because true people love him. He's a man, once him go up on the street and everything, you know. People see him and from them see him, they might give him money and everything, and them love him enough. Them not people not for him, him not forget money from people if they cut them the slap. Once them see him in a uniform in a community, people where I drive past. It's a man who be known. If people from Montego Bay, the people from St. James all over the drive at that back, you know, that back road for uh, Mandeville, yeah, because of less traffic. So him stop a car team and I tell him, say, look here, man, we're not dealing with no vehicle and everything. So I know say, because he wants to get money. I feel like a style that him stop, him stop people and say, hey, so boy, I'm going check it um, for papers and a man realize. So we well, Mr. Series. So the conversation would definitely would just change from papers to them start talking about personal things and him get money. You understand? I saw him the theme style. So I tell him, so we not do that and everything. So him go out there and the Tata bus. I come up the road and I say, yes, see, the bus is serious. Just like how the, the, the MIU, um, MIU are mil- I, I soldier them, like, intelligence people. If I see that man again, I don't even know. I, I won't even recognize him. Yeah, because that was early in my morning. And when the bus come up, I see, I say, yes, I say, sir, see the bus here. So me and Sirius alone stand outside in the station. So there's a shop. So just like how the, uh, he stopped the bus, and just like how the MIU man described the boy I have on the ball kangal and transparent glasses and him, him silk shirt button up to him neck, I see him. They have on a short pants. And you know, a uh, youth from, you know, you don't know, although you're police and anything, you still have, you know, you still have your, 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 your Jamaican culture and everything there from your community. So me out there and everything there. I mean I'm a shard pants and my shoes and you know a mesh marina as police, you know. And me have my gun in my waist. You understand? So my pine pan the brother and everything. I say road boy police come out of the bus. This is by me he said that the boy he's out of gun you know. And pointed towards me. You know. But before him pointed you know, me hit the ground you know, and him fire quick. Three shots, you know, bam, bam. And, and the people in my bus said, Lord, look how him kill the look how young police. Them time I are youth, you know, I wear size 28 pants. My mother, like, I not even start to go beard yet. So when the boy, you know, after him shoot off of me, the boy go up by the front of the bus. The driver for the bus, you now P.J. Patterson, brother, bodyguard, a man named Farkison. You understand? So the man, when I drive the bus, him named John. John is... Um, PJ Patterson bodyguard brother. So me said to John, said, Mr. Lock, I tell you, you know, as Paul, Mr. Lock, I have the blood clot bus, you know, it's going to kill you too, you know. So the boy, see me now, I'm at the right at the end of the, end of the, um, the, the, the building. The Chinese people, they me, Mr. Lynch. So the boy realized now, so, him, so him, he thought that he had shot me, you know, so he might come now through the front door, he thought, you know, forget to it. But when he reached the sun, he realized that I was there because after him shoot after me, you know, I saw where he was heading. He was full enough. He could stand up. So he got it. So he can't come out now, because he come out now, you know, right in the meme coming. You understand? I mean, I don't tell the driver, I said, shut up with blood clot, but I'll kill you too, you know. So the boy, you know, a few seconds after that, all he, all he came out of the bus. They said that somebody had pushed him. So you can't say that. Because if he, if he had came out like how he would like have walk out there, but he would come out different. So as he come out, I whack him and, you understand, I put it on for him. Boom, 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 and he drop. So when he drop, him, turn him face. He drop right at the back of the bus and the boy turned him face so I toward the station. And I saw him shoot the police when he and Paul Gass here. I stay with him, I stay and, and I work the boy and him thing there. And when I go down there, I see Paul Gass here, lay down. With him, with him, thirty eight in him hand, and him eye them a back, and a pure blood that come from on him. That the boy there, all, all, all the boy, all the boy, all the boy, think I'm a little bit of one of them. You understand? 
other boy I know we are travel with him now, you know. So Paul Garcia did you know. And I want to tell you now, you know, so a next boy I travel with him. And the boy and the people them on the bus down start beat him, say, yes, sir, him and the boy, you know. I mean I tell you say biggest mistake me make kind of thing there. Like, was enter and the people them in our community, them decide now, say, they might kill him, you know, because country people them, you know, because they must say, boy. The youngest police high police station then, you know. In terms of age and service. Me just in a, me just in my early twenties. You understand? Um, when I graduated from the police training school, my youngest police in my batch, you know, 1988. When I graduate, I'm not even 19 yet. So, the people, they want to kill the boy, and, and me have to have a fire shot and see if the boy, the, the boy say, the boy say, yo, the boy say, Chris, yo, you don't know me, man. And he may call my mother and my father, and my cousin and all them things. And I say, from him know all of them people, and I say, the boy, I know me then. You understand? So, based upon that, I see if me, you know, I see if him life, the people they not kill him. And, you know, um, and detective car called me and cross in the station and meet him then. And I tell him now. So Garcia, you know, the same police. So him get shot. Him pretty much we not in the expect same I live. Because when he when he, when we take him gun from him, him can him not uh, flip the chair and not even a shot come out of him gun. He said no fire and a shot. Because the boy lace him up in you know, a powder burned up on the policeman's shirt, you know. The boy shot him, you know. But if he never did coward, if he did come out there with me, with Garcia, yeah, he won't get no shot on him thing. Yeah. You understand? But the reason why he came out there now, him here went to the people them said, so boy, look how I kill a young police. Look how young, you understand? When, when I was um, up by the front of the bus, at the, at the shop piece, and yeah, I shout out now to Rumble, the acting car, and I said, Rumble, the boy, the boy is going to finish him, finish you know? All me hear my ball out and I said, Jesus Christ. Them time I never know said so the policeman God said he'd get shot then. Anyway, serious. I detected <laughs> the brother named Cross now. Cross. Cross came on the scene. And cause him station and me up in him, my detective car. Cross stick up a man in a pick a man in a driver, pick up vehicle, you know. Stick him up in you know. And and so boy, I want the man if he can take care of the police the hospital. Cross not ended up driver's license then, but him can drive. And we lift up Garcia and put Garcia in the man pickup. And the man for the pickup, the man who only pick up, the man go in at the back of the vehicle, you know. And them care rush Garcia to um Mandeville Hospital. The people them in the community lift me up, you know. Because people in the pan the hill watch the shoot out and I said, boy. I bad see young police is wherever uh, we see coming in our in our place and them thing and but may I tell you say I have some loving people them you know believe you me them country people there. You know. I tell you say the people them used to treat me like like them used to treat me like family. I want to tell you say a whole heap of things when I learn and all them things at the police station and you know, learn. Like one youth and him, Biggie, Courtney Liver Farin you now, Rumpel, um, I, I, I would have shift him again, man. He lived down last spring. He had more ox there. Yeah. My lad. Mm. He had more ox there, yeah, my lad. Um, you ever come across um, ones in the force in Jamaica who yeah. came in the force because of um, someone killed someone in the family and they decide that you know they 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 they're gonna become a police and terrorize them them people they are you know what i mean yeah you, you ever you ever get revenge yeah. forget revenge yeah no i mean your people said it all the while i have never experienced that i've ever heard of any police with giant police force and them giant forget revenge i've always heard that you know that rumor mm. but i have no experience of it none I cannot point to one case or anything like that. We hear people say it all the while, but uh, you know, a policeman never, never echo say, um, you know, the reason why I'm joining the police was a man killing brother or this or that. Uh, you understand? But I know that most people don't even know that. You know that bigger four, you know, is a twin, you know. And you know that his brother was a bad man. And you know, say I see him gunman killing brother, and that's all. 
um, he, he became a police officer. Like, I went to training school, poor trial as a cadet, you know. You never know that's a bigger for it. Um, he had a brother who was a twin. No. And him twin was a bad man. Uh-uh. All right. Yeah, man. He didn't know say Trinity. He even see him Trinity and him thing. Like, Trinity come from below where I'm from. And I was born in man. He didn't know say Trinity. He have a brother where a bad man. An ordinary bad man. He joking. And police would shoot off him foot. And and all the people, them, you, them man, they kill him. And because you growing up in the 70s, they hear about Jokey and everything, and come from Rima. And in the 90s, you know, in Pepper, Mobile Reserve, you know, and the police them kill him, you know, at, at Darling Street and Spanish Town Road. And you know, the so Trinity go there and spit on him on Blood Brother door. See it. You never, you never did know that. The so Trinity had one brother where a gunman. When Trinity had police, Jokey. You never know that. Mm mm. Yes, man. Trinity and my brother were a bad man, man. Joke from Rima. Poly, a mobile reserve police kill him. And Trinity got on the scene and spit on him. He, it was even on the news in Jamaica back then. Then time we have JBC. We never have CV in them. You understand? Um, wh- wh- why, why there's a narrative in um, Jamaica that the police um shoot youths and, and 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 put weapon on them and say why them 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 pull weapon on them and these things oh man all of them think they are lying i may tell you this now lie them i tell you i may give you an incident i show you how people wicked enough um about two weeks before um before police kill sprat you know, Derek Spratt, um, the one that then the block the road, uh, Agle Park Road and Walton Park Road and a, dete- a car from from half a tree after kill three um three um protesters and injured most fourteen. Kill three two protesters. Weeks before. Wow. Yeah man. See? Uh me te- yeah man in kill three protesters because them them fling an object. It him in him head cause a wound, the wound uh, even his skull was cracked. And based on the law, his action, because of his training, subconsciously, he, knew, he was taught to defend himself. So that's what he did. So he couldn't go to prison for that. Yeah, man, right at, right, the, the following day after Sprat was killed. So, so, so two, uh, 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 two people shoot um, lick him in the head one time? No, man. This will explain the part that you. So may I tell you now what you're talking about, say, Police, people say police plant gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, I, and I want you and the people them to listen. I mean, I show you all people we can. May I listen to you? Yeah, two weeks before Sprat was killed by the police. That are less than a mile from where this happened with me. At 33, 33 and 35 lane. There's a barber shot at the corner right there. A youth named Chris. I remember my other brother name. I years that I know. So I was coming down, um, coming from Bradderton Avenue coming down Walton Park Road on a police bike. I was a detective. So I had a bike. Because my life was threatening, you know, me and Bobby, Bobby Rex. There was a hit out on our head. As a me and Bobby, you know, we do a whole heap of damage to our like, criminal them in a Kingston 13 Sea View, where you can name it. But we of all our police we work on the road, me and Bobby alone never get a shot. So you can't tell the people them say, boy, we don't have some we deal or we involve in a hobby and anything. But we believe in a God. So we pray and we mother and pray for we and them thing all the time. So I was coming down um Walton Park um Walton Park Road and near to 33 lane at the, the, the um a youth a brown youth you know him just run out you know and a brother ride a uh, ride a bicycle and the man start whack the brother you know and we drop the bike, the police bike in, and I couldn't even stop it in. When I said, I just stop it and drop it. You know, once you drop the bike, it now go move on and move. And I said, police, I pull my gun out. And by the time I spin around, I lick him, and you understand? And he may advance towards me, and I lick him. And you see the brother with him walk up on him thing. So I take up the, the weapon with him have, the one of me shot, and the one with him walk up on him thing. You have to run him down, you know? The guy with him walk up, you know? And him have bought several wounds for him, you know, the brother. Him now, the brother with him, what the youth in him, all us. 
how low it wanted for two murders and come from Pain Avenue. And the people them, because they don't like me, you know. I have people even down the road of Walton Park where they and them go. Gangs, man. I don't even know if that one there. Um, my name is Eric Finley, they call him Skin Out. Gangs, man. Um, um, I'm going to see my, uh, he, um, Kevin, him dead, them kill him, or him. I mean, the whole of them grew up on all them things. You understand? But I don't support criminality. So, you know, the narrative is that them, why I fight against them and them things. You understand? So, the people, them, you know, them block, block the road, you know, with, with that incident there, you know. And I tell you, say, you know, the, um, so cowboy came and them, you know, them, same police cowboy and them came and, Call it the, uh, the people, the man, them thing, and black the road, so me have, you know, me leave and them take the man who get injured, came out hospital, they wanted for two counts of murder, and yeah, nah, yeah, man. So back then, you know, I was commissioner of police, you know, you know, so once the people, them black the road, you know, so automatically, you have a suspension, as that was what the, the police hierarchy had put out there to be people. Anyway, my shooting was justifiable, and them people, so. They never take me off a frontline duty or anything like that. You know, about 40 people give statement. So I want you listening. About 40 people give statement. And not one of them report what happened. Happened. They tell pure lies on me. 40 people that claim that they witness. And you see the man, oh, I'm not get for charge on them thing there. I'm going to listen to this. Is the man who survived, the man who was wanted for two counts of murder. That is the man. So if I did not hold that man, I would be arrested and charged for shooting the other man. And that's Jamaican people. So anytime you hear these people um, come out and them have demonstration and I say police this and police that 99.9% .9 of the time they are lying. I experienced that then. The people them say the man never have no weapon. And, but them not talk, oh the next man get injured. You know. Is the man where is the man we get the whole heap of, the whole heap of wound them in you know, all those you know, all those save me, you know, from the charge, you know. To shoot the next man, you know. One boy and Canute Morris, you know, Meggy boy, son from um, from Mackay Lane. Me even got I, I me even got like England and see Meggy boy, Meggy boy, brother. His brother. And my dad want, my dad want, want, want dance at England and him see me and, and him come and him, him hear me and him say, boy, I'm a supporter. So I want to name Burrow and I want to name Cry Cry. Criminal them in. And him come and him hear me and I say, boy, I have no, no hard feelings so hard because I know say you're working and doing them things there. And you understand? And I don't know why I'm to him, him the one with the brother where he was in England. You understand? Meggy boy. So when when people are telling all of these things, you see them come out, all of these things, 99.9% of the time are right. If it wasn't for all those other charge, for sure it can't Is is a Meggy, Meggy, Meggy boy, son. Is a, is, is a lot of time, um, you know, we, 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 we read articles and and the way some of these articles come across, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, you know, police shoot, shoot a youth, you know what I mean? And when you read the article, it probably will show you, say, boy, um, the youth, uh, the police statement is, you know, the youth shoot at the police and, mm -hmm. and run and 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 the police return return fire mm. no so it's like a record it's like a recurring decimal let's keep recording all the time and i see him. yeah 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 we keep narrative seeing from the police yeah yeah same narrative now um me i said if a man is a bad man zane mm -hmm. yeah and him say him say a squad of police, even though they say one police are rolling, him say a squad of man. And me not say how oh, a man does a go bust a shot, a one shot half a half of the police them like that. And 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 run. 
Well, that had us a give him life. Well, it, 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 you know, me, me, me does not buy the narrative because, as I say, it's a, it's a, it's a recurrent thing that, you know, it's it, it repetitive. It keep you know, you, you see this thing all the time. You hear about it all the time. And, you know, the reason why um, you are saying that because you don't have an experience as a police officer. If you, you say if you, if you are a police officer, you don't, you don't experience, you don't experience, um, a lot of things, especially where I used to work at Huntsville. Well, I'm going to tell you this. That's all right. All right. Just, like, yeah, just yeah. like what, you, what, what, what you're saying now. Mm. Um, and the only regret I have about anything in my life as a police officer, and it's a boy named, when he's ugly from back to. You remember the same detective when I tell about when he's Ruben Gunther, and he have a police when he's Bobby Reds. I mean, I tell you, three away, we in a vehicle one night. And we are drive up a uh, majestic guy, uh, majestic guy, and I go towards Spanish town. Right? And we stand four men. They were walking beside the wall of the market. Ugly and an ex boy. And when you are, as police, as detective, I patrol through the community. When it touch certain night, um, night, certain um, time of, of night, you cannot drive with the light and them thing there. As man, you shoot up the vehicle. You understand? So that's how the police have to operate. So by the time we reach, where's the man? We shoot up the vehicle. Road. Yes, man, shoot up the police vehicle. Oh, it's all right. You see, see him detective a matter like me, Ruben Gunter. A gunman shoot gun the first time. Go, uh, a three time going to get shot in a unsweet police area and he's my inspector. Gunter should I be a soap, you know. The first time going to get shot in a mouth. A Oakland, a Oakland, Oakland Avenue. But anyway, I'm going to go back now. I'm too ugly. I mean, I tell you the only regret I have because he end up after that and kill a police. A sergeant, a detective sergeant, a chaplain. And we involved in a shootout between him and the next boy. The other boy. In him, in him get knocked on his chin. And me, I tell him, I said, me and him, him, he was in the, the, the carriageway along Spanish Town Road, this um, opposite the market. And we are trade bullets. And me, I tell him, I have the M16 rifle. But I shoot him five times in his belly and I shot them exit. And the boy was able to roll and roll and go down into the, um, the gully. You understand? And he never did that night. M60. And the reason, the reason why he never did because he never hit any. It, it, um, when I'm kidney, I, you know, I learned later, but he never did. And you know why that boy was able to manage six months in recovery over by White Wing. And you have this guy named Dead now named Pulpy. The f- Good Friday before Pulpy dead, the night. I saw him and him came out on spear. From that, I don't talk to him. So the boy are named Ugly now. So they took Ugly. The other boy and then Ugly get away. They took Ugly to Dr. Ford. And if you if you listen, you know, with the, um, the video that I did about um, J-Man getting shot and going to the hospital. If J-Man was in Jamaica, he, would not, he, he would, wouldn't go to any hospital now because there's some crooked doctor down there that would treat him for his injuries. You understand? So, Ugly get five shots out of the M16 rifle. A close range, because me and him have trade bullet, and, and you understand? And they took him to Dr. Ford. Ugly was able to spend six months in White Wing community that was being controlled by a guy named Pulpy. I knew Pulpy before Ugly, you know. I knew Pulpy right then, 15 years, before even other police knew Pulpy. It only got two police didn't know Pulpy before Pulpy was become the stand and all them thing. Yeah. Pulpy and a bad man. You understand the music of a black factory. And it was Pulpy brother, brother now who told me right in front of Pulpy after the you know the boy um the boy heel ugly and told me that um that Mr. Porter, I tell you because you have good police, you know. You understand because 
you never treat you know we over here and you never go on like a better with you we you know we are you know um we live in a in a ghetto and them thing there because you all you say you can emphasize with ghetto people and yeah you understand and he said the boy will try to kill you in the ugly you know you know say my brother pulp i the boy over here for six months but the boy in the day and them thing you know? and that's why anytime anytime you come over here before you come off of the bike pulp all years make certain set him come to you so nobody could tell you say boy there and anytime any anybody from white introducing to you now a hot reggae song no lies by artist mosiah available on all digital download platform granny used to tell me all the time sparks when feet and preparation combine the road been right here Smash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I mindset. Smash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I just start the mindset. Smash that subscribe Introducing to you now a hot reggae song, No Lies by artist Mosiah, available on all digital download platform, Apple Music, Spotify, available now, No Lies by Mosiah stream now